A little more than a month after a major ricin letter scare put Washington, D.C. on high alert, two new letters laced with the deadly poison were sent to New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg. One was opened in a New York City mail center. The other letter was opened by Mark Glaze in Washington. He's the director of Mayors Against Illegal Guns. Mayors Against Illegal Guns is an organization founded and funded by Bloomberg, a strong supporter of more restrictive gun laws in the U.S. Both letters had a Louisiana postmark and contained written threats with references to Mayor Bloomberg's role in the national gun debate. Bloomberg says they will not stop his efforts to tighten gun laws. There's 12,000 people that are going to get killed this year with guns and 19,000 that are going to commit suicide with guns and we're not going to walk away from those efforts. A New York Police Department spokesman says something about the way the letters were addressed initially raised suspicions. A pink, orange, oily substance found in the letters then tested positive for ricin at two different testing facilities. Ricin is an extremely deadly poison derived from castor beans. If ingested, even a tiny amount can be lethal. Last month, letters testing positive for ricin were sent to President Obama, a U.S. senator, and a judge, putting government mail processing services on their highest alert since the anthrax scare in 2001. Mayor Bloomberg never handled either of the ricin letters, but police staff in New York City did. Authorities say those who came in contact with the letters did experience some symptoms of rice and poisoning, but seem now to be okay. For Newsy, I'm Nathan Byrne. Multiple sources, a broader view.